Hey everyone, so with Season of Mastery out for a week now, most of you are probably still leveling. Maybe you're taking your time with it this time around and you're in the mid-20s. Or maybe you've been playing non-stop and you're already in the mid-50s. Either way, now is a good time to learn about some mistakes you can avoid doing while leveling to make your journey to 60 both smoother and more efficient. Myself, I'm level 37, and while leveling anew in Classic in a brand new server, so with no gold to spare and no high level people to boost me through the harder quests or dungeons, this made me remember all those important mistakes that, as a player leveling in Classic WoW, you definitely need to avoid doing. So that's what this video is about. Today, we're gonna talk about 6 common mistakes that players still do while leveling in Classic. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, first and foremost, probably the most deadly mistake you can do while leveling in Classic is taking on mobs that are higher level than you. And when I say higher level, I don't mean 5 or 6 levels, but even 1 or 2 levels higher might already be a mistake depending on your class. So in Classic, there's a thing called hit and spell hit. While leveling, 99% of the time you'll have zero hit. And long story short, the higher level the mob you're fighting is, the more hit you're gonna need to not miss or get paired and dodged as a melee. So while leveling, you absolutely want to aim for mobs that are exactly at your level or ideally one level below you. That's why in the first iteration of Classic in 2019, a common advice was to grind on mobs to level up and be able to take on higher level mobs in the zone you're currently in. In Season of Mastery, that's not so much of an issue anymore. Quests give more than enough XP that you'll most likely never have to grind on mobs, but you still have to be smart with which zone you're going through and at what level of course, but grinding is not a thing anymore. That being said, said advice of only fighting mobs that are around your level still applies. So for example, say you just left the starting human area in Elwyn, you're level 6 and you're ready to level in the rest of the forest. You should definitely avoid going west where all the gnolls and hogger is. Those are level 9 and 10. Instead, do the kobold quests in the mine which are level 6 and 7. Turn those in, go to the east for the level 8 and 9 quests, then you finally can move move west and do the null quests. Of course, that's just an example with Elwyn, but that applies to every zone in the game. Be smart about your leveling route and always quest where mobs are either at your level or one level below you. Or worst case scenario, one level above, but never more than that. That's why using leveling add-ons is so useful, by the way. Speaking of leveling add-ons, let's talk about them. The next common mistake is that people just go completely blind in their leveling and have no route to follow. So the the most popular add-on that helps you with that and the one that most players use is Questy. Questy is pretty much a must-have add-on while leveling. Not only does it show every quest around your level on the map, but it also notifies your group when you're done with a quest, gives you a way better quest tracker than the vanilla one and much more small features like that that are super useful. And even if you have some of the next add-ons that we're gonna talk about, I still recommend having Questy too. Then after Questy, if we're talking strictly about leveling route add-ons, another Another free one is Guideline. So while Questy shows all the quests on the map and it's up to you to choose which ones to do in order, Guideline does that job for you. It gives you steps to follow in order and tells you, hey, if you're at this level, do this quest, this quest, and this quest. If you're at that level, do these quests, etc. Then, if you have guideline but want to take it to another level, you have add-ons that you have to pay for. Honestly, those don't do anything really crazier than what Questy or Guideline can do, so don't feel like you have to buy them. But the likes of Zygor or Rested XP not only give you steps to follow, but they also detect your level and automatically either tell you to grind on mobs to go to the next step, or even skip a few steps because you're too high level already. But yeah, those are paid add-ons. They can be pricey for just a World of Warcraft add-on so don't feel like you have to use them. Questy is perfectly fine on its own. If you want to take it to the next level, you can use Guideline. And then, if you really want to spare the money for those premium add-ons, go for it, I guess. But they're not gonna give you any real advantage over the other two we mentioned. Next up, let's talk gold. In Classic WoW, especially on a fresh server like in Season of Mastery, gold is crucial to your leveling speed. And there's two reasons for that. Number one, obviously you need to afford your new abilities while leveling. Some of them can get really costly, but you definitely don't need all of them. We'll get to that later. And the second and most important reason is because of your mount at level 40. In Season of Mastery, thankfully, the mount cost has been cut in half. And thank god for that, because there's no way any 
everyone will have 100 gold by level 40 with this increased leveling speed. Unless you spend all your time farming gold, of course. So your goal while leveling is to have 45 gold exactly by level 40. 30 for the mount and 15 for the skill. 45 is way more achievable than 100 for sure. But if you're reckless with your spending, you'll probably not even have that. So here's some ways to save you gold while leveling. First, probably the most common mistakes that newer players do is buying gear while leveling. Trust me, you definitely don't need to do that. Of course, there are some exceptions. Weapons are the piece of gear that gives the highest DPS increase. So there are situations where buying a bow from a vendor as a hunter, for example, is worth it. But generally speaking, don't spend your gold or silver for the matter on any piece of gear. The quest rewards and the gear that is gonna drop for you along the way is more than enough to sustain you. Then, probably the most known mistake to avoid is to not buy literally all your spells while leveling. Only buy the ones you'll actually be using while leveling, not at max level. When you're max level, you'll have way more ways to make gold, but while leveling, your options are limited, so leave those raiding or PvP skills for later. There's probably a long list of spells that are completely useless for every class, but I'll take Hunter as an example here, as that's the class I'm most familiar with. As you can see, there's a ton of spells that I have haven't trained, and I'm only level 37 so far. Sure, there's some playstyles that can make use of the spells I skipped here, but the way I level on this PvE server I'm on, I don't need any of the spells I skipped. One spell that I think we can all agree on that would be just silver thrown out the window is Beast Lore. This is a completely useless spell, not only while leveling, but even at max level. We have sites like Wowhead now or Petopia to know not only the stats or the family of a given beast, but even where to find it, what its level range is and what spells it comes with, so beast lore is easily skippable. And I'm sure there's tons of other spells like this for every class. Okay, so next up, one of the most common mistakes that players do that wastes them a lot of gold while leveling is vendoring stuff they shouldn't be vendoring. A lot of very valuable items in this game come in white quality, so you'll not know how valuable an item is until you check it on the auction house. And you might be thinking, well, that sounds like an inventory management nightmare to keep everything until I get to a city. Obviously, that's why you should have bank alts, but other than that, there's the add-on trade scale master, short for TSM. TSM is a super in-depth and complex add-on, but you don't need to worry about any of that. You can just use it to know the value of every item in the game. When using this add-on, visit the auction house and periodically do a slash TSM scan. This will scan every item on the auction house and calculate the market price and show it along with the last seen price on the items tooltip. Either way, to go back to the mistake to avoid doing here, always check the price of an item on the auction house. If it's close to the vendor price, you're safe to vendor it. Otherwise, make sure to throw it on the AH whenever you have the chance. Do that enough times and your mount at 40 is guaranteed. But there's more you can do to afford your mount. I'm obviously talking about professions. And in Season of Mastery, professions are more important than ever. While leveling, there's only a handful of professions that are very useful, so choose any of the ones I'm about to mention. One that I noticed being used quite a lot actually in SOM is tailoring. And the reason for that is simple. Bags. Bags are super important while leveling, and if you can turn those cloths you get along the way into bags, you'll be making quite a lot of money, especially now when everyone is leveling. Another useful profession, and one that's my personal favorite, is enchanting. In class 8, you can disenchant any gear piece in the game with as low as 1 enchanting, so there's no maintenance required for this profession. And most items in the game, most, not all, are generally worth more after being disenchanted. To go back to TSM, to know which items are worth disenchanting and which aren't, you can use the disenchant value tooltip for TSM. I look at that all the time. Gathering professions are also super strong now in Season a mastery. Not really for the ores and the herbs themselves, because those mostly go for vendor price since the market is saturated with them right now, but mostly because of the elementals you can get from the higher level nodes. All of those are good, but especially elemental fire and elemental earth. Those are only gonna get more and more valuable the moment people start hitting level 60. And of course, since we're on the topic of professions, let's quickly mention this. The mistake that probably everyone 
knows about, not using first aid. So obviously first aid is an extremely important profession, both while leveling but also at max level. And yes, even if you're a healer yourself. And that's pretty much all the mistakes that I saw people doing in Season of Mastery while leveling. I'm sure I'm forgetting some here, so if you have things like that that you can think of, drop them in the comments to benefit everyone. And who knows, maybe I'll make a part 2 here and you might be featured in it for giving us an awesome tip. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give it a like and subscribe to the Classic WoW Curios channel for more content like this. I will see you guys in the next one very soon. Bye for now.